How can we be created in God's image when God doesn't have an image? The way God creates the world is in an orderly fashion of cause and effect. You start with a thought, the thought develops into a plan, the plan develops into a, into a will, the will produces results. It's all, it's all an orderly progression. God could have created the world without a progression, just big bang, and you're here. But then there would be no ladder for us to climb. So if God didn't come down step by step, we wouldn't be able to go up step by step. There would be this huge gap between us. He's the creator, we're the creation, that's it. There's no, there's no access. But because he created the world in increments, logical increments, we can follow that path back and get closer to him. So what was the path, very generally speaking? First, God created the world in his mind. Like, like any project, you create it first in, in the vision, in the plan. Then that goes into emotion. You get excited about the plan. Then you speak it. And then you do it. So we are created in God's image because in our soul, we have the same progression. We, we discover an idea, we develop an emotion about it, we talk about it, and then we do it. But even the body, even the body is a reflection of God's image because the head, where the thoughts happen, is at the top. Under that is the emotions, the heart. And under that are the feet where you actually go and do what you're excited about doing. So the body is a reflection of the soul and the soul is a reflection of the way God creates the world. So the body is in the image of the soul, the soul is in the image of God. However, a human being can lose the image of God with which he was created, where his emotions take over the brain and he is governed strictly by his emotions and his actions are out of control and they don't match the emotions. So the latter is disrupted, is broken. You've lost the image. By repenting, by coming back, you repair the ladder and you regain the image. So we are created in the image of God primarily means first you think, then you get excited. You get excited by what you know, not by something unknown. Animals don't have the image of God. And that's why they don't walk upright. Their head doesn't sit on top of their heart. And their, and their heart doesn't sit on top of their uh, hind legs that propel them into motion. But the human being is a ladder, a sequence of events. That is our image of God. We have a Sunday night program for VIPs that you might be interested in. It's informal, it's questions and answers, it's conversation. It's really relaxed, it's really pleasant, enjoyable, informative, and uh, kind of community-like. It's a Sunday night program, there's a um, Wednesday morning program for the VIPs, and there's a Wednesday night program. All of it, just conversation, casual, laid back, unscripted. So join us, take a look, click uh, the link below and see which 
which of the three suits you best, and join us for some enjoyable conversation.